Hey everybody, it's Dave Grantham from Evolutionary Qigong and in this video what I'm going to do is uh, go over the yin-yang symbol exchange in the vertical as well as the horizontal rotation of the ball. Okay, It's very similar to the yin-yang symbol exchange in circling, however now we have also a rotation. So what I want to do is I want to go over just that rotation, let's uh, work just that vertical rotation so we can show you how we exchange. So in the vertical rotation I'm turning the body back and forth and I'm rotating the ball by moving my palms over the ball. Okay, So that's the yang direction. Then we have obviously the yin direction, so we're going in the opposite direction, right? pattern moves in the opposite direction and with circling going through the circle all right so now I want to exchange I want to change from yin to yang or yang to yin without stopping the ball and then going in the opposite direction so in the yin excuse me in the vertical pattern when I'm exchanging from yin to yang or yang to yin I use what's known as our yin-yang symbol exchange, that S-curve that goes through the center of that symbol, if you will. All right. So there are two things that are going to happen. We still have this circling action where I go down through the center, out, and then back up. Right. That still occurs. But now we also have a rotation. And if you notice, when I'm going in this direction, my palms are moving in this direction. When I'm in the yin direction, my palms are moving in this direction. So that's over the top of the ball. What I do is I use that same S-curve, that same yin-yang symbol exchange on the rotation while I'm circling. So let's just look at that rotational part of what I'm talking about. So I'm going over the top, right? And I want to change to yin. So when I get to this position, I no longer go straight over the top. I curve through the S and lo and behold, now I've changed directions. You see that? Now if I'm yin, I want to change to yang. When I reach this point, instead of going straight over the top, I come around the side, S-curve, and then boom, I'm now in the opposite direction. Okay? So now let's add the circling part of that. So let's say I'm circling in a yang direction, and of course I'm doing this all stationary right now. Get used to it in this movement. And I want to change to yin. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up to the top and I'm going to start to S-curve into the center. When I reach this position, I go now S-curve to the bottom. And now I'm moving in a yin direction. Okay. So that's yang to yin. If I want to go back to yang, I start to S-curve into the center. When I get to that point, I'm going around the side, down, and now I'm in a yang direction. Okay, so that's vertical. We also have horizontal. Okay, same characteristics for horizontal. All right, I'm going to S curve into the center or yin yang symbol exchange into the center and then out in the opposite direction using both rotation and with circling. All right, so now the rotational part of it. Remember from the previous video, horizontally circling the ball, uh, horizontally rotating the ball, excuse me, palms are one on top of each other. And what I'm doing is I'm rotating while I circle, right? Now just the rotational part. If I want to change my movement, in this case from yin to yang, what I'm gonna do is no longer go around the sides. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna S curve down and now I'm going to kind of pivot, if you will, underneath. And now I have that movement. Okay, so rotationally changing. So now I'm going to go over the top S curving underneath and then down. I hope that's kind of, you can see that. It might be difficult to see that. But with practice, you can get that. All right, so now with the circle action of horizontal, so let's say I'm yin here i'm going around i pick a spot i start to go into the center what i'm going to do is i'm going to go over the top okay so i'm going around the uh, excuse me going around the outside all right i start to come in i go over the top s curve turn over 
and then I go to the opposite side. Okay, now I'm in a yang position. I want to change to yin, so at some point I go in, I go around the S curve underneath, and now I go around the outside. Okay, so I hope you were able to see that. I know it's tough because really we should be looking from the top down in order to effectively see that. But with some practice, I'm sure you can get it. Now, if I want to go vertical to horizontal, remember from circling, you don't necessarily have to go through the center. You can go over the outside and then immediately go to the outside of the opposite you know, platform, the vertical to horizontal or horizontal to, to vertical. The same thing happens here. Uh, let's say I'm going vertical. I'll go a little bit to the side here so you can see. So I'm rotating vertically in a yang direction. Okay, and let's say I want to change to horizontal. So as I go around the outside, I start to curve, and you'll see now I start moving the hands in a horizontal path. Okay, let's say I'm going, uh, let's go from yin horizontally to a vertical pattern. So this is a yin horizontal rotation, and I want to go to a vertical path. So let's again take from out there, I come up over the top, and now I'm doing a yin rotation in a vertical uh, pattern, okay? So that's how we go from yin to yang, yang to yin, a yin-yang symbol exchange we call it, where we use that S curve in the center, and it's also how we go from vertical to horizontal. We can use the S curve in that, but we're not necessarily stuck upon having to do that we can keep on the outside to change. I hope that video was helpful, guys. If you liked it, please select like down below. Any comments would be greatly appreciated. Helps me in providing you with the best material I can and teaching Tai Chi Ball. And uh, there'll be more videos where we get to the next stages, such as wrap coiling and things like that. Thank you.